Hi, I'm Jesse Serpan from Raw Iron Choppers. I'm a business owner, an entrepreneur, a designer, a fabricator, and a metal artist. But before all of that, I became a welder. Welding actually chose me. Between my interests, my skill set, and kind of my upbringing as a kid, and it really, really became something of, of interest to me that actually became a career opportunity. Welding has opened a lot of doors for me. And I know the biggest thing is finding a mentor, maybe an instructor, maybe a person down the street who owns a shop. So I talked to my mentor, Ryan Eubank, about the multiple paths that welding can lead you to. Well, Lakeland Community College has a lot to offer. You know, it's just not the hands-on portion of it that students need to understand. It's also the technical aspects. It's the book work. Because when you're in the booth, there's not always going to be an instructor there to solve your problems. So if you know the theory that you learn in the class, and then you can take it into the booth and as you're welding, you come up with a problems or scenarios and you can help solve or create that solution without a help or aid of an instructor. That's when it all becomes a full circle of being a well-rounded welder or weld technician. I'm trying to get to you know, the point with my skills and my work that you know, I have that ability to go out and do any task that you know my foreman would be able to ask me, it's go and do this, I can accomplish that, and then eventually you know move up to that foreman position or that, that assistant foreman position, pusher, whatever it may be. And I think that's the one thing that's really cool about welding. You create, you could be an art sculpture, you could build structures, you can manufacture parts. It's got something in it for everybody and it can always build off of that. I so. think that's what's essential with, with the college and being here is that you can touch on any facet you want and if it fits your mold or if you want to further your education you go maybe it's not time for a college degree now or maybe it is and vice versa you can really get into that deeper and deeper and deeper to further your education years down the road. Uh, continuing education is huge if you're not going to school or in something it's just paying attention to what the older guys are doing everybody's able to teach you something it's just are you willing to open your eyes look at it and interpret what they're trying to show you you got to understand, as an individual, you, you don't want to settle with just a basic job. You want to know how you can advance, starting about out as a basic welder, yes, coming in here and getting a, a degree or a certificate or a certification is absolutely wonderful. But you always want to think on, how do you improve on your lifestyle? You make that transition from welding in the shop to applying your skills that you learned right into the field and it's a it's an immediate transition you have to make but once you do make that it's a sense of pride it's a sense of of you know you're passionate about this and you love getting up and every day and you know jumping into that tank and learning something new and keep striving and expanding your skills so what is the future hold for the welding field well the welding field is not going away it's only getting stronger the demand for the jobs and the skilled workers are better now than they ever been AWS, American Welding Society, is projecting there's going to be over a shortage of 250,000 welding jobs available in North America alone. From new construction to repair to building ships, buildings, cars, planes, trains, welding is always going to be needed. A career in welding can take you in many directions. To learn more, go to aws.org to start your path in welding.